Um, I'm Noah and I'm going to into fifth grade. And I'm Ashley. We've been coming to Faith Bridge for a little over six years. And when we first started coming to Faith Bridge, I had been passing by every day on my way to work. And I had been asking God at the time to lead me to a church where I could learn a little bit more about Him and what it meant to be a part of a godly community. I just remember after that first Sunday, I went to pick him up and he didn't want to leave. The first time I really felt like, okay, this is where we're meant to be is when I served with kids ministry during the summer. We did everything. We learned a lesson, we sang songs, we did praise and worship. I mean, it was like big level stuff. It wasn't just, we're gonna sit in a room and color pages and eat a snack and be done. And now I've made it up to the fifth grade room and it's even more exciting to be in that room to see them as they're older, like really starting to understand who God is and who they are in Him. So Noah had to write an essay for his tutor and the writing prompt was to write about something that's important to you. And Noah hates to write. Um, he, could, he could write one story with three lines and consider it done because it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Um, so this essay that he chose to write was about God and it is the longest essay that he has written with the most details. Have you ever put God in front of everything else? Several times I've put aside video games, TV, and read God's Word slash Bible. I've qu I had questions about the Bible so whenever I read it some of my questions got answered. I want to learn more about God. God is important to you and me. God is the one who created us in the whole world. He's given us a reason to live. He saved us from our sins. God is the Holy One. He is the Lord of Lords. God is important to you and me because He's our Savior. In reality, He is our shield. He protects us from danger and the devil. When Hurricane Harvey hit, God was there with me even though I was scared. The flood didn't hurt me or my house, family, and my pets. God was there with me. In conclusion, God will always be there with me, with me and you. The important thing is God is powerful. I certainly got all teary-eyed when he read it to me the first time. I still get teary-eyed when he reads it out loud. Being a single parent, sometimes it's a lot just to get home and get dinner on the table and Kids ministry is definitely a partnership, coming alongside and kind of carrying this load with me that like, it's not just up to me to help him figure out who he's meant to be or who God created him to be or who God is. Talking about scripture, what it means to be in the word, what it means to praise and worship, what it means to have a prayer life. And he can ask them questions and they'll tell him the answers honestly. They don't, you know, try to beat around the bush or, give him the the fairy tale version of the story, I guess. It's funny because, you know, I think about church as being my godly community, and until he wrote this essay, it never really dawned on me that kids' ministry is his godly community. Like, they might be smaller in stature, but they're still a godly community. For him to have that at such a young age, it's it brings a sense of peace and joy because now, yes, it is mind-blowing. Now he's, he has this opportunity to walk with the Lord um, from such a young age. He's feeling empowered to chase after his own faith and choosing to be baptized and, sorry, spending time in God's Word on his own um, is really cool, really cool to see.